We just released our newest update to Peculiar Sounds. In order to update, you're gonna wanna go to the site, log into your account and click on My Downloads and you will see the update there as update. Do not do the new install unless you're installing it on a new system. If you're just updating, please just click the Mac OS update or the Windows update file if you're on Windows. You will then receive a folder like this that has a step-by-step -step workflow uh, that will allow you to update there with videos that show you how to do that. And in this update, we have three new core features that I want to show you today. Feature number one is a most requested feature, especially for those who have smaller screens that they're trying to utilize Peculiar Sounds on. Now you can simply click this little drop down here in the corner and resize it to 75% or 50% or the full 100. Feature number two that we released is an update to the preset browser. Now you will notice a three column workflow versus the traditional two column workflow in the preset browser. You will see a new category called factory sounds where you will find all of your old presets. This is going to allow us to add in future expansions uh, that will be coming to Peculiar Sounds. Feature number three that we have added is automation. You can now automate a few parameters inside of Peculiar Sounds such as your high pass, low pass, and your master volume. We will be adding more automation parameters in the near future. For a full list of all of the bug fixes and enhancements we made, please check the release notes download in the description of this video.